can't lie with God, my young girl. See? You have a dirty heart. You have a dirty life. And you need to come to Christ. You need to be clean. If you think you are so dirty, God can make you clean. If you think you are not right with God, you can be right with God. If my preaching was thinking of your sin, you need to repent from your sin. The F word, the S word, is not of God, it's of the devil. And also what comes out of your mouth goes to your heart. You have a dirty heart, young man, young girl. Oh, no. No, you don't love me. But God's not going to hear your prayer. God is not going to hear your prayer if you have beer in your hand. If you have a, a seat in your life, God is not going to hear your prayer. If you're one of those that's been saved, you've been saved, I want you to listen to what God says. He says this is for you. For if, after they have escaped the pollutions of the world, that's you, when you got saved, you escaped the pollutions of the world. If after they've escaped the pollutions of the world, through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, they are again entangled therein. That's like you. You're getting entangled therein. Good work. Y'all keep up the good work. I appreciate that. Don't let them get to you. I appreciate that. Glory. I appreciate somebody encouraging. That's good. I appreciate that. But so, if you're one of those folks that's been saved before, God saved you, this is God's word to you. He's warning you. You that's been saved, here's God's warning for you. He says, if, after they've escaped the pollutions of the world, through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that's you, if you've been saved, you escape the pollutions of the world. If, after they've done that, if uh, they are again entangled, right. It'll be worse. That, that's like you right now. You're getting entangled with the cares of the world again. Drinking beer. And overcome. That's, that's the critical thing. You're entangled in yourself right now. And, and some of you may be become overcome by what you're doing. Now that's God's warning because he says if that happens, if, if you get entangled again and overcome, the latter end of you is going to be worse than the beginning. Worse than before you got saved to start with. That's right. They were on their way to hell, Steve. What could be worse? What's, what, why is it worse? For it had been better for yep. them yep. not to have known yep. the way of righteousness than after they had known to yep. turn yep. from the holy commandment delivered unto them. That's Did right. you catch that? That's right. Did you catch that? Listen up. It'd be better that you've not ever been saved than for you to get saved and then become once again entangled in the things that you used to be in. Yeah. It'd be better that you never did get saved to start with. Yeah. That's serious, friends. God's not playing. That's right. He's serious. He's, people go to hell. That's right. It's not just some little, oh, it never happens to anybody. It can't happen to me. People go to hell. People that God loves. People that he had his angels working on their behalf. Them, trying to keep them, trying to keep them away from temptations that are going to send them to the way that the world goes. Is God pleased with you being here today, sir? Did you consult God? Did he say that uh, he wants you to be here? No. No, he didn't. I know he didn't. I don't know that. He wants me to be here. But does God want you to be in this place today? Is he pleased with you being here? I can tell you, I think for most of you, he would rather you to be either over here preaching or you to be home listening to preaching and uh, studying God's Word and being with your family. He did not satisfy you. So there's only one way for you to go. It's the Lord of Jesus. When is the last time you tried Jesus Christ? When is the last time you on your knees and trying the Lord to have mercy upon me, a sinner? Maybe you need to surrender your life to Jesus. Maybe you need to... Uh, live life but in obedience to the Lord. You know, sin already disappointed you. Sin already ruined part of your life. So you're still going back and sinning. 
if you have a, a sense enough, to, uh, if you have enough sense that, that, that left in you, you will run to Jesus. You will run. You will run for forgiveness. You will go home when you have an app and open up the Bible. Say, God, I don't know what to do in my life. I'm a young man trying to make a living. I don't know. I tried everything. Never satisfy me. You know, I'm going to hell, that preacher said. I don't want to go there. How do I escape hell? Well, the Bible says you must be born again. You must accept. The Bible says for the wages of sin is death. You see, you're getting close to death. We all are. We are getting close to death. And the wages, one of the wages is you're going to pay for your sin. You're going to pay for your sin. But Jesus, the Bible says, that He sacrificed Himself for you. He sacrificed Himself for you. So when you cry out for forgiveness, when you continue in living holy, God is going to forgive you because of Calvary. God is going to forgive you if you forsake your sin. But if you're living with me, if you're living in adultery, if you're living in pornography, if you're living in lying and cheating and conniving and extortioning and you have pleasure and sin for a season and you have a pride and you're not humble yourself, you are headed for death. You are headed for destruction and you are destroying your life with sin. And we are giving you the solution is Jesus Christ when he died upon the cross. You need, right, folks, I have, a, I have an announcement, announcement for all of you drunkards and sinners and fornicators. Attention all of you sinners who refuse to give up your sin. I want to draw your attention to the ice cream van. Attention all sinners who refuse to live holy and obediently. I want to draw your attention to the ice cream van. Please get your ice cream now because you won't be able to where you're going for all of eternity. If you die as an unrepentant sinner, if you're unwilling to give up your drunkenness and your fornication and your pornography and your foul mouth and your violence, please, as a public service announcement to the unrepentant sinner, please make your way, make your way to the ice cream van. Sinners, make your way to your ice cream van, because when you spend eternity in hell, you're going to really wish, you're going to really wish you took advantage of this chance. to get some ice cream on that hot day at the racetrack because you're going to be spending eternity in hell and you'll have no more chance for it. All right, we got them we got backing up right to us. I want to promote, I want to promote the ice cream van. All sinners, all sinners, please make your way to the ice cream van. Get your ice cream now while you still have a chance because a drunk driver can take your life tonight and if you think Nice, ice cold, 
ice cream, something that an unrepentant sinner will never, ever get in the lake of fire. See, Jesus himself tells us that most of you are going to end up in hell. See, Jesus said, broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many go that way. Narrow is the path, straight is the gate that leads to everlasting life, and few there be that find it. Oh, that Jesus' own words tell us that most people are going to end up in hell. And I've seen a lot of people around here drunk and foul-mouthed and mocking the gospel. See, uh, so, uh, you see, is that cooler's full of booze? Maybe they're going to be getting drunk tonight. I strongly recommend, I strongly recommend any unrepentant sinner to take advantage of an ice cold ice cream now. Because that's one of the billions of things you're going to be regretting. When you spend eternity in hell, one of the billions of things you're going to regret is that you didn't get that ice cream on that hot day at the track. So it's a public service announcement to both the sinners and the saints. Uh, that's what I'm telling you to do. That's good advice. But the best advice we can give you of all is to follow the game plan of salvation, then go get an ice cream. So you could do both. You could do both. So you need to repent. You need to, uh, you need to repent. You need to surrender to Jesus. You need to stop sinning. You need to fear God, and you need to live holy. If you're willing to do those things, then you could go from being a hell-bound sinner to a heaven-bound saint. You could have your past sins washed clean through the shed blood of Christ. You could be made new. The Holy Spirit comes and changes that heart of stone to a heart of flesh. Now you've got a new destination. Now you're a heaven-bound saint. And you get ice cream, too. That's a good deal. That is a good deal. You like that deal, Alan? Is that a oh, good yeah. deal? That is a good deal right there. So, uh, get saved, get some ice cream, and live holy.